Hey guys, it is Tuesday morning. I'm in my usual spot in the kitchen where I start all my mornings. Um, it's actually a little bit later now. Dan goes into work late uh, today, so he was able to take Evie to school, which is very nice. And then he came home and then had to go back out because we have a snow blower uh, that we got, I don't know, last year that somebody gave us, but it never worked. So he tried to fix it a couple times and then just wasn't able to, so he brought it to a like small machine shop around here so that it could get fixed properly uh, before it snows. We don't typically get snow until usually December and even sometimes not even in December. Sometimes we gotta wait till like January. But then you never know, sometimes we have like a freak snowstorm early. So he just wants to be ahead of the game and get that done. So he's back out. Um, I'm making myself breakfast. Lara already had a bagel, but I'm warming up some biscuits from last night. Just toasting them a little bit under the broiler and I'm gonna have eggs and my coffee and some oranges. I thought maybe Dan and Lara would share these with me, but I don't know if they are. But we don't really have much planned for the day. Um, I really feel like I'm on top of most of the tasks that I've been wanting to accomplish recently. Um, there's definitely, oh, okay, cheese stick. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Piece of Lara's cheese stick. But we're kind of just in like wind down mode. Uh, there's not a ton going on today. Uh, I probably will wind up at Walmart at some point today. Probably want to go get Evie. Um, I need to get a couple random things that I needed from Aldi. Well, I needed when I went grocery shopping, but Aldi doesn't carry them, like rubbing alcohol and Windex and things like that, that they just don't have things like that. So I'll probably wind up there later today, but I'm just gonna have my breakfast and I don't know, just take it easy today. It is absolutely beautiful outside. It's very sunny, but I think it's still pretty chilly, um, but it looks beautiful. I feel like the camera can never properly capture how beautiful it is outside. And like all of our very vibrant trees are hidden behind this oak tree. I guess you can see them back there. I almost want to like trim those lower branches so I can see like all the way back there. You see there's like some very red and orange trees. It's just beautiful. We made it to Walmart. I don't know if you can tell, but uh, this one fell asleep in the car on the way here. So I've just been sitting in the parking lot replying to comments and checking Instagram and just letting her nap a little longer because I know as soon as I pick her up to bring her into the store, she's gonna fall right asleep. But we're gonna go inside, pick up a few things. Somebody posted on my Instagram yesterday. They sent me a message and showed me some farmhouse Christmas wrapping paper that Walmart apparently is carrying. Um, and it had like the exact navy blue and green paper that I've been looking for. And it seems to be really like high quality. So I'm hoping that they have it. If they don't, it's okay. <laughs> I didn't mean for this to turn into like some big ordeal and I know it's not a big deal. Um, but it's just like a little finishing touch that I'm excited to do in the in the nursery so hopefully they'll have it and if they don't I'm sure I'll find it I'll, I'm waking her up so as I'm sitting here I'm also I was watching a couple just YouTube clips um, I follow Jimmy Fallon on YouTube we don't have TV so I never watch the show but I like to watch like some of the clips of his interviews with people and he inter was interviewing Rami Malek who's playing Freddie Mercury in Bohemian Rhapsody so I just texted Dan I said date night Friday because I really want to see the movie. I absolutely love Queen and I think he is going to do an amazing job. So I'm hoping that that will actually happen. We'll get in a date night on Friday. We never go to the movies because honestly there's never anything worth seeing. Um, but this one I would be excited to see in theater because it's you know it's about music so seeing it on a big screen I think will be pretty cool. So I'm excited about that. Well I think nap time is going to have to come to an end because I drank all my water and now I really have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> so we're gonna have to go inside. Poor thing. <laughs> She's so cute. <laughs> 
Hi, Mama. Did you have a good nap? <laughs> okay, back home from Walmart. I did not have any luck with the farmhouse wrapping paper, but I'm sure it'll come in time to my store. But I did find the, these packs of colored paper on clearance for 75 cents. There's a green, a pink, and a yellow, and there's 300 in each of these, so this will be endless crafting for the girls. So I, I know it's a lot of paper, but I'll just put like a little bit of each in their little craft desk at a time. And hopefully it'll last a good long while. And like I said, I need a glass cleaner and um, rubbing alcohol. We need a desitin. I only have one crib sheet that I ordered that's coming in from Amazon. Well, from Little Unicorn, but through Amazon. So I just was walking by the baby stuff, getting these things. And I saw this one that's just like an oatmeal color. Just like really simple, 100% cotton, and I think it was like 7 or $8. So I picked that up just to have one extra crib sheet. And then we also needed these uh, furniture protectors for a couple different random things in the house. And then we stopped at a Habitat Restore, which I haven't been in in a long time. And Lara picked up this book, which we love, the story of Peter Rabbit and the green. She said she wants to read this to her baby brother, right? Yeah. So the green will be perfect in his nursery. And then I also found this picture, which is very similar to that picture that's in our living room. This is gonna go hopefully in the nursery. I'm planning to do a gallery wall and I thought this was perfect. It was only seven dollars which was a great deal for I mean just the frame alone that's a great deal but with the writing print it's perfect. I'm very excited about that. So we're only stopping home for a couple minutes. We have to actually go right back out and pick up Evie. But I haven't really had lunch. We just brought like some granola bars and some fruit in the car to snack on. So I'm gonna have either some egg salad or something else um, for lunch. There's only enough for one person, so I don't know if Lara wants it or not. We'll see. Um, and then we'll eat that, and then I'll go right back out to get Evie. Okay, it's about 20 after five, and I think we're just gonna do an early dinner. I looked through Evie's lunch bag and she hadn't eaten hardly any of her soup. And she's been in a mood ever since she got home. She's been very grumpy. Let me know in the comments. Do you have a kindergartner that's having a hard time adjusting to full days away? She's had mostly good days, but some days when I pick her up, I can tell she's tired and hungry. So we're gonna have just an early dinner. We're actually gonna have soup again. Um, Dan works late tonight, so he won't be home until well into bedtime, uh, which is fine. I'm thinking we're gonna do an early bedtime because Lara didn't really have her full nap today either. So they'll probably both be hungry, or tired, I should say, both. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna make dinner. I mean, I'm just gonna serve up dinner now. They already got baths. Um, and Evie did her homework, so we're like already into the, the night routine, so we're just gonna have dinner now. All right, 7.15, girls are in bed. The kitchen is mostly clean, the sink's clear for the most part, just got one bowl. I washed all of Evie's things for lunch tomorrow. And tomorrow is Halloween, and I also have a doctor appointment in the morning, and after my doctor appointment, um, they have a service at the hospital where they install infant car seats, so I called them and made an appointment because not only do we need to install our infant car seat, we need to move Evie's seat to the back. She's gonna be sitting in the back of the van and then the baby will probably be in her seat, I think. Um, we might switch the baby and Lara, but we'll see. So we're gonna have a busy day tomorrow. We have obviously trick-or-treating later. Uh, I have to pull out their costumes, make sure we have everything. It's supposed to be pretty nice tomorrow. I think it's supposed to be like 66 during the day. Yeah, it's supposed to be like in the 60s during the day. So around like three, four, it's gonna be like 64-ish. So that's gonna be really nice and comfortable for trick-or-treating. It won't be too cold. Cause I plan to just take, you know, take both of the girls out. Like after I pick Evie up for school, um, I think people go that early. I'm not, honestly, I'm not sure if that's like too early to go trick or treating, but um, we'll see if there's other kids out, then we'll go. And then we'll probably come home and do dinner. And then I don't know if when Dan gets home, if they want to go back out, 
Maybe we will. We'll just, we're just kind of playing it by ear. Normally we would go trick or treating with friends of ours, but they, we live much farther from them now. And with it being a school night, you know, it's probably just not very practical to be going that far. So we're skipping it this year. We're just gonna stay local and the girls will still have a great time. Okay, lunch for tomorrow. Evie has a ham and cheese sandwich and some veggie straws and then green peppers, grapes, and an orange. Um, tomorrow's Halloween, so I'm sure they're gonna have treats and candy and all that. So I tried to keep it like a little light. And then for snack, um, just some cinnamon graham crackers, honestly, because we've had them for a while and I'm trying to get rid of them. So that's gonna be her lunch tomorrow. So before I go edit, I'm gonna have a little treat. I'll we'll probably bring it with me onto the computer. We picked these up at Walmart today. Lara wanted them, she pointed to them, and I was like, no, no, but <laughs> she insisted. And honestly, it didn't take that much to convince me because I love the colored Oreos, no matter what season, if it's yellow for spring or orange for Halloween, I just feel like they taste better. <laughs> so I'm gonna have this for dessert. So I also just got out of the shower. I'm gonna let my hair air dry as I edit, and then I'll probably just do it in the morning. I don't, I try not to blow dry my hair as often as I can. So if I take a shower early enough, I can just let it air dry. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna edit, and I'll be talking to you guys tomorrow for the last day of Vlogtober. Bye.